Okay, today's show is going to be about seeds. Seed size, uh, comparison to color, uh, what does it mean? About all these different seeds and what it means, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, for first example, I'm going to show you some recently made seed that I just made. The fourth back cross is called T99. That's what we call the fourth back cross. Okay, I'm going to show you these seeds. Well, these are some pretty good sized nuts. There's probably about a hundred of them there. They're all nice and ripe and they're all ready to go. Nice big fat seeds. Nice big fat. Coconuts. Okay, here's the next one. This is uh, Wonder Jacks times uh, the fourth back cross which would be T99. Now, I left one seed in the bowl from the previous seeds I made, the Aphrodite times the T99, or fourth back cross. And now we'll compare the difference in seed size, okay? You can see the different size in these seeds. The uh, Aphrodite cross is on the left, and the Wonder Jack cross is on the right. The seed on the left is about twice as big as the seeds on the right. What does that mean? Mm, well, usually with land races, smaller seeds indicate that they're sativa. Bigger seeds indicate that they're more indica. But there's been a lot of uh, interbreeding between sativa and indica all over the place, back and forth. So you might get a big seed that's uh, more sativa and a smaller seed that's more indica. Now that doesn't hold universally true, even with the land races. There are some seeds that are bigger that are sativa and some smaller seeds that are just But the indica. general rule is, Bigger seeds are indica, smaller seeds are sativa. An easy way to tell if you've got a mature seed or an immature seed, other than how it looks, it's really white, so obviously this is probably pretty immature. Now, some seeds are darker than others. I mean, no matter how long you leave them on the plant or let them ripen up, some seed is just going to be darker because it's genetically geared to be that way. Your seed's going to be darker when it is done, though. Here is a real light color, you see. So here's an easy test. You can see if uh, your seed is actually ripe, if uh, you couldn't actually see the color of the seed or you're unsure. Just put your, your finger on it and, oh, see I put a little pressure, see what happened? The seed was flattened. That's not a good seed. You can take your finger on a seed like that and press down with a fair amount of pressure and nothing will happen because it's a good seed. But seeds that are hollow like this, you press down and, well, you know, that's what happens.